holding it and then the piece metal the the screw the tall one is to hold my weight I'll be changing that one soon to a thicker like a pipe material where the weight is not going to be uh, you know just to keep it snug and to avoid any play okay um, right over here we have that metal opening uh, where I drilled so this piece is going to come over here and together I'm going to be putting it over here This time, since I don't need this and I don't want all these little holes to show, I have this one as a cover. Okay, this is a piece, the U-shape again, what I used, uh, it had already a hole on this side, so I left it, I used that hole and then snug it over here using a bolt and I put a bunch of washers just to avoid any friction over here but it's enough play here and on this side I'm using that garage door opener uh, pulley system the beauty of this one, number one, it has a bunch of holes on, on the side so you don't have to drill some uh, a new one unless you want to make it a little bit bigger uh, but it is priceless when you think of the ball bearing system that it is already that comes with it so you have all that smooth rotation that you can get from here it can go 360 and once we put it together we'll see the beauty of this okay so I used two bolts over here to keep it with the uh, with the pulley system but at the same time since the pulley system already had uh, a bolt bearing I don't want it to rotate so I bolted this with the piece of metal that I have over here and I have that smooth rotation originally this piece of metal that I used the hole was smaller so what I did was I made the hole bigger so I, I used a press uh, a, like a, a, a drill presser I don't know if that is a, the name so I use that one to make it a hole, the hole bigger, so that way I can make it free from this one, so it can rotate easily without any uh, friction or anything holding it back. So the same thing on this side, but on this side it is just like a a, a bolt uh, through and through. But in the middle I have a bunch of washers just to get, to get that smooth rotation right here the other side is free just bolted one uh, through and through and then holding it right here to keep that as a pivot in the middle again this piece covering the, my small small thing that I just did for the previous uh, project which didn't work out so I can cover it using this another one which is about three dollars if you want to get this one so this is where we're going to be my monitor is going to be sitting over here rather than all, all the way higher like the other one is going to be with when I'm using this crane I will be mounting my monitor here uh, this piece that I have is another uh, another pulley system and and instead of keeping it on the inside I kept it on the outside that way I can have a handle to rotate uh, the, the vertical rotation on the camera to go up and down so instead of in the inside I kept it on the outside and it is once we put it together it will be easier the, this piece that I have if I join it with over here I can have a hands-free um, a parallelogram type of rotation but again this is a trial actually I'm going to be trying it for the first time now but with my camera mounted uh, but we'll see yeah, how it works uh, the weight goes all the way at the back over here once I set it up it will be over uh, in the system 
and originally this piece that I had the idea was the original idea was using a bicycle gear and the handle the same thing and instead of having this piece over here this used to be at the back uh, and it worked great but it was a little dangerous when you think of all those sharp uh, spikes that it has plus having to accommodate this I had to use a bicycle chain which was a little bit greasy as it was not that bad considering uh, for quick setup it was trouble and on a regular basis to use this over and over again it was crazy plus uh, beside the bicycle uh, gears and the, the chain it was the piece of cable that I was using it kept on tangling over and over again uh, and it gives you a little bit like uh, whenever if you have a little splinter I keep on cutting myself over and over again so it was hard to keep a clean cut so it works when once you set it up but for a quick setup it was too much hustle so I'm trying to avoid this one so the no idea works and shout out for the uh, if I make a mistake the Frogel Frogel the filmmaker I'll give him credit on that uh, what I have over here is a cable a, sh a cable with the plastic coating on it uh, two things about this material one the inside will keep it strong enough to stay in the same uh, length but the outer the plastic it is good enough to keep uh, a friction from the book what is it the pulley system from slipping but it will hold and it is actually it is great and it was like about 47 cents a foot I think I got about 11 foot 11 feet and it's good enough it works and I'm using a turnbuckle and to keep it to hold it right and by turning the middle and then you can adjust the left and the right which is with the to have that maximum strength that you can get out of this and those pieces I don't know why you could, what's the name for those um, but what I did is I got those pieces and they were like about almost two dollars and you pass a loop and then take it back in the inside and then once you get it to the other side is that you if you can using a grip or using a hammer you can keep it tight that way it will be there forever or what you can do what I did for mine I did the same thing I made the the, the loop pass through and then I put on a uh, device grip that's the name and I keep on turning 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 until everything was tight so one side I did and the other one once I know the distance that I needed and uh, once I pass it through I make sure that I cut it right there so I don't have any additional piece uh, left out so it's look like this I have my remote on the side with the handle because that way I can tilt and control whether I want to record or stop or whatever I want to do, focus, uh, take a still pictures and uh, uh, zoom in and out and all that kind of stuff. I can take care of it from here. Um, the back wheel which is tight again with that the rubber shielded uh, cable uh, controlling the front and the back and I have my monitor in the middle that way when I'm rotating my monitor ro can rotate with me 
rather than stationary. So again, at this time the camera is all the way up and my weight is all the way down. So if I go this way, you will be able to see the weight on this side and the camera all the way in the front. Okay, just to let you know the, effective, uh, the effectiveness of um, the ball bearing, the, the ball bearing that I have uh, welded right here, just I'm going to lift it up the camera because of space, but you can see that it rotates without any problem and, which, and really smooth. Still, I'm, going, I'm using the 20 pounds to, as a counterbalance, but I like this setting because this time I can control my camera, the pan and tilt without a quick adjustment. I don't have to pop somewhere in the middle to, to put it tilt up and down. All I have to be adjusting will be this, this cable. Okay, for this cable what I have, it, if I put it, if I lock it right here with this um, but of, uh, what is it, the wing nut, if I lock it over here, then I can record with that uh, parallel, uh, parallelogram system with the same angle that it goes up it can come down and I can adjust it and this is still in the same tilt as you can see but if I take it off then I have to have my handle on this because my camera is heavy and then depending with the light that I have in the front it has a certain unbalance like it's not balanced because the the light is a little bit throwing it off. So I have to hold my hand over here and adjust my, uh, my tilt. Again, I'm just going to do that carefully. If I take off this, and I can still I start feeling the pressure already. Okay, okay now I can tilt up and down. tilt up and down which is as you can see over here I can tilt up and I can tilt down so if I go a little further you can see The disadvantage of having the same the, uh, equal pulley system is whatever that you do at the back is evenly distributed in the front. So you have to be very careful and then with the little practice I think it can be mastered. But again, I'm showing you guys the first time I'm setting it up. I just finished this one this week, putting little, little things, uh, adding little, little things. But at the same time, I'm still going to adjust this one because I am having a little bit, I'm not happy with it, but if I go up, it will touch. So I don't know whether I should add this piece to lock it with this because once I lock it, I want to have the hands-free option, which is when I don't have to hold the tilt and automatically I can lock it in one side. At this time, the lock is on, so I have my hands-free option. So let me just turn on the camera. I can give you. So I put this there. You can see. All right, good. 
So with this one, at this time, hands-free, the camera tilts as it rises up because it is locked with the vertically with the uh, speaker stand or move. So I don't have to touch it automatically, it adjusts. Okay, um, when it comes to the pulley system and how I put it together, if it might be a little bit confusing the way I say it and all those things. Uh, please check this guy's video. Uh, I don't want to mess around with mess it up his name, which I think uh, the Frugal v Filmmaker or something like that. So check his video. Uh, excellent explanation how he did it. But um, I'm going with this system with the double bar system because uh, my camera is heavy. He's using a smaller camera and he's using with the one bar. It's excellent, but I don't want to take that uh, risk because my camera is heavy. So I'm using the, the two. There's a little bit of play, which as you can see, if you notice, there is a little bit of a shakiness and that is coming from my weight over here because uh, the hole on the weight to hold it is supposed to be like on a pipe system that I'm supposed to replace it, uh, which I'm rushing to put this video quickly, but at this time I have a thin screw as thin as this. So every time I tilt, there's a little plate that is giving it a shake. Beside that, if that is already snug and holding hard, that would be very safe and there will not be any kind of shaking going on. Um, if you have any idea and make any question how I did and if I missed something, uh, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you soon.